Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, that last episode was something else. That was intense. And uh, we handled the Londoner situation. We unlocked shrines. We're going to start building some of those puppies. They're actually in progress here. And uh, we have turned off some things that I'm going to now uh, re-engage. Because uh, let's get them going. And couple places need extra workers before we unpause let's just let's just do a quick little a quick little check and see what we got going on we're dismantling over here that's all good we've got the hunters huts we did set up the hot houses this is inoperative because it's too cold but we are building a steam hub there so hopefully this all works that would be great we need this thing to start producing more coal and uh, it should and then we have the medical post here that should be impacted by this uh, steam hub. So cool. Let's let's proceed, shall we? People are hungry. That's a little bit of a situation, but we do have uh, resources starting to come in. And with the hot houses starting to uh, produce, hopefully, hopefully, we can get that under control. Uh, we just need people to come in and start working that house we're running overtime you know what i'm gonna run overtime here too like i feel like in some of these situations yeah people aren't gonna like it but at the same time you know they get used to it they will get used to it right <laughs> what could go wrong shrines have been erected people feel encouraged to pray more often so that's also increasing the efficiency of these buildings that they are working in which is uh, pretty nice, pretty cool, if you ask me. Now this, unfortunately, is not touching these. Um, I'm a little bit, I think I'm probably expending too much on these steam hubs, but I, I'm gonna keep doing them because it is keeping people, it is keeping people working, and keeping people working is awesome for me. Now one thing I have a question about that you guys might be able to answer. If I'm looking at these two buildings, this one's doing 3.4 per hour. This one's doing 3.1 per hour. The only difference that I can see is that this is being handled by workers and this is being handled by engineers. Oh, I'm dumb. It's the efficiency. Forget I said anything. None of that matters. It's clearly the efficiency. Okay. I'm going to run the uh, heaters at these sawmills. We'll max that out. And the steam hub is on there, but it's just, it's just so, it is so cold. I think our next big focus here essentially has to be on some next tier uh, upgrades. So this building, this street is not connected to the generator. So once that's connected, hopefully we're good. So what do we want to research now? So we got lighter scout sleds, right? Steam hub range upgrade could be decent. That is something we need to toggle. And it's going to consume twice as much coal when that setting is active. I actually need more steel as well. I'm wondering if maybe I should go into steel steamworks now. Because that's something we haven't been focusing on a ton. We have only a couple places. But as we get into these more advanced buildings, you can see the cost of that increasing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that. And we'll see what we can make happen here. Um, can we get out here and build this, you guys? Nice. Okay. So this building, unfortunately, is not in range of any of these things. So kind of a, kind of a brutal little placement here. I may end up just placing another one so that we can lock that in. And it's an overlap that I don't love. But if I, yeah, I think it's probably better for me to just dismantle this and build another one, like here. Or maybe if I want, I could even do it out here so it covers more of this space later on. Uh, let's do something like this. I should have maybe thought about this before starting, but... Let's do this. Connect these roads. I'll do something like that. I'm just trying to create a, a space where 
potentially I could put another hothouse, and then the steam hub can kind of hit a bunch of these. So if I were to do a road up here, I guess that will work. Just try to place this as far as I can, far out as I can, while still hitting that medical post. Okay. Do I have any engineers in places that they don't need to be? Yep. Okay, well, I need some of them there. So that's fine. Then we can max this out. Some other workshops would be good, too. I don't know if they have to be all connected. But, yeah. Now, who are my three freezing? Where are they working? Joey, Helen, Eleanor, where are you? You're at the workshop. Yeah, okay, so you're here. Well, let's just turn that on. Cool. Gravely ill. It's all fine. Until it's not. What am I running here? I am running it on level 2. We have a coal delivery in 2 hours. Breath of Hope. People have started to leave personal charms, beads, and written prayers at shrines as votive offerings. It seems it helps them keep their spirits up. I, I Look, I'm sure at some point here, hope is going to drop to a crazy low that I'm not expecting. However, I can't do anything about that at the moment. Alright, these places are up and running, although people are pretty sick. All the children. But look, man, tomorrow it's getting it's getting hot. It's gonna be a hot minus 50. <laughs> a really hot minus 50. Survivors reach the city. Let's go. Bring them in. Bring them in. Work is over for today. We've got houses, man. We've we've got it set up here. Can I see anything in here about housing? We don't have anything in the negatives here. Coal pile. That's fine. The gathering post over here. We don't have that turned on because I've got three there for some reason, but I'm probably going to upgrade this coal thumper to the better option. There's like the steam coal thumper, right? Uh, the sawmill can have more people. Now, I'm not really heating that sawmill. And I guess my question is, why not? Because, I'll tell you why. Because these trees are going to be gone soon. That's why. So I'm going to ditch that. Those things don't need to be heated. Neither does that. Looks like that might just become our storage area. So fair enough. People should have enough food to eat. So we'll focus on gathering some steam. Whoa, what a nice little influx of stuff there. Okay. So it is nice. It seems like what they bring back... We are full, and so we'll stop making ste uh, steel, but it doesn't just discard it, which is really nice. Okay, where am I going to go? Back out to the cave? You're going to the cave. Okay, so you, my friend, you're going to go way out here. Two days. Actually, I changed my mind. We're going to go here. Wait, how can I cancel that? Can I cancel that? Cancel that. Okay. You're going to go here, 24 hours versus two days. Yeah, definitely using these older paths, that's the way to go, 100%. Deadly. Let her rip here. Temple has influenced people to mend their ways. A duel is taking place. Somebody could die. Discontent dropped. Book of Laws. Now, let me get out of there for a sec, and let's get into some other potential options in here until we finish this up. Ceremonial funerals, loss of hope caused by death is halved. I don't think that's a bad thing. Triage lets us um, do emergency things where we can instantly heal half of patients, but then a quarter will die instantly. I'm not sure when we would want to trigger that. That seems like dire stretch or a dire situation only. But either way. Seven hours left on the fuel. So now we are definitely over-consuming, but that's going to change in the morning. That's going to change. OK, 
Okay. Let's go down to steam level one here. And then... Uh, these places don't need to be on. Okay, so those are off. Maybe it's... I think it's probably just easier for me to do this. Keep the steam hubs on. I'm going to try turning everything else off and see how that's going to impact our temperatures. Doesn't seem like these would add up, hey? But then, like, obviously over time. I wish these medical posts were all... I wish everything was kind of sorted by the building name, but whatevs. We'll keep the hubs on. And we'll let that go. Okay, so you can see these places are too cold. So that's fair. Even though there's a steam hub there, these cookhouses are not great. So anything that needs to be operating, obviously we're going to make sure they have the heat required. Unexpected guests. A group of exhausted survivors of Restar City from their frantic explanations. We know they've come a great distance and that many of them died on the way. The phrase doom is coming keeps being repeated and they say many more refugees are following them. They're begging for you to help. Send out search parties to bring them to the city or be cautious. I think I'm going to be cautious here. The group will enter. We'll decide what to do with the others later. Resolve the situation with the incoming refugees. Okay. And what what does that mean exactly? Let's set up a resource depot here. Over in this zone. I don't like that this street is not in line. So I'm going to fix that. build those puppies. People are going to get really sick there. So any of these buildings identified as being cold, I'll heat as well. A woman's told us she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food. We'll follow the lead. Okay. Tip led us to some stolen supplies. Now, I do have some engineers out here that I could remove, put workers into. I'm setting up this storage so that I can create and make more steel. Okay, we're at the hideout. Steam steel is done. Let's explore. We have survivors here. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall, barring the entrance. They are in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Try to reason with the Americans and convince them to join us or attack them. We'll talk to them. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are now heading home with these wretches in tow. Okay, so there we have to escort them back. I've seen quite a few, uh, well, I shouldn't say quite a few. There's uh, a couple comments saying we should always be escorting back. I disagree because I feel like on this difficulty, you need to be making sure that you have the resources coming in. And it's tough for us to produce everything in-house. And those big sums of resources coming in are nice. And we really slow that down if we're kind of doubling up on trips back and forth. Even if the uh, the road we've already traveled is a little bit faster. It just feels kind of like meh for me. And if a couple people do die, it's like, well, like we also have to manage how many people we can realistically have here that will allow us to um, still feed everybody and stuff, right? And, and speaking of that, I think that's my biggest issue right now. So what can I do here? This provides 26 raw food per day. The hothouse does 26 raw food per day, but it also costs uh, a steam core to build, okay? I could do the insulation. That would solve us from using those heaters all the time. Hunter's Huts employ fewer people, so we have more workers available. I don't mind that. The infirmary could be really nice as well. 
10 beds. So currently, yeah, they're treated faster than medical posts, 10 beds. So in theory, we could double our amount, right? Cookhouse insulation as well. I think those are all pretty nice to have. Very interesting options here. Hunter's huts will employ fewer people. Hunter's hangers then. Does this get impacted by Hunter's huts? I don't think so. So if I go here, I probably need the same amount of workers. Let's start that. Let's start that because I want to get... I think our food is not where it could be. Our medical stuff is not where it could be. People had also been saying that uh, we should let people build at night. So, um, sure. I will let people build at night. The list. A man has brought a long list of names titled a register of infidels, buggers, seducers, strumpets, and other wrongdoers. He swore on his soul that this information is accurate and all he wants for them to repent. Dude. Like, stay out of people's business. Okay? Stay out of people's business. That's all. That's all I'm saying. We have coal coming in. Nice. Alright, the ice corridor. So we that was our path that we'd already taken. Let's go stone ship now. Burial cemetery, or burial in the cemetery. Okay. That cemetery, by the way, if you're wondering. Way out here. Only two buried there. Honestly expected it to be worse. So I'm going to go uh, steel here. And then I'm going to set this one to be wood. Okay. And we'll keep an eye on, on some of this. As to not go over. Consumption wise, we're good. I actually wouldn't mind having just a ton of storage for coal. So, while I'm able to build up a bit of a surplus, I'm going to actually set up an extra coal spot here. The sicknesses, they just ramp up aggressively. Okay, let's go coal there. Now, we did unlock the steel steamworks here. Better heating. 59 steel per day. Let's replace that. Let's replace that. Those are my only two steel spots, eh? Alright. I do like that you don't have just unlimited ways to get kind of everything. This You only have the two steel spots. I think that's cool. We have the wall drills going. And I have a lot of wood. I'm just not sure... If I need more, like I could put one here. So technically I should do that. I'm going to do that. And this here is my sawmill that I'm going to get rid of once these trees are gone. What do you got for me? The stone ship. Explore it. Search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we might reach, or we might reach some more promising locations. Okay. Let's go to the ruined warehouse then. I love this uh, upgrade system that you don't have to dismantle everything all the time. Okay, flying hunters research. Build hunters hangers to increase the range and efficiency of hunts. Love that. Now this place is I'm gonna say this place is warm enough. We'll turn on these heaters once the once the temps drop tomorrow. Ooh, what's this? Uh I just got an, uh, an achievement that says in a new home scenario, save everyone in the frostlands. Huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and that they'll die without our help. We'd never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Nansen warned us about this disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. 
Now on the loading screen, it said something about um, a scientist discovering that there's like meteor showers or something. I'm not sure how that ties into the lore, but I am curious. Okay. We never have survived it. We can say everyone's welcome. Discontent will rise. Hope will rise. So 70 people will join. 30 of them ill. Only the healthy ones or send them on our way. Yikes. Our hope is already pretty high. But this amount of people, like, my concern is obviously the housing situation. But I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy. We've gone, we've gone crazy. There's triage. What other options might help us in here? Protector of the truth. Greatly reduce discontent. Discontent will rise. What about field kitchens? Provides people working nearby with hot meals to keep them warm. Oh, interesting. So, raises the temperature of nearby workplaces by a level with the field kitchen. So, we're just distributing meals through there, essentially. That's a neat idea. House of healing. Not only heal the sick, but also pray for them, giving them hope. Doesn't require engineers. Treats the gravely ill and gives all patients a small hope bonus. Heals people slower than the infirmary. But it does treat the gravely ill, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go field kitchens first. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Serves hot meals. Oh, yeah. See, now the problem is I got to fit these things in here. And let's be honest, that is a bit of a problem. It is a bit. Now, I don't need to put these as close to the center of of um, of this stuff. Right? We can stay on the outskirts. So it's not impacting the uh, the medical posts at all. This place, the coal thumper, this will be operating for the foreseeable future. So maybe what I'll do is tuck this here. Tuck another one there. Put one up here by those places. Tuck one over here for those two things. And then maybe throw one over here as well. Yeah, I think that can work. Okay. So now we've got the flying hunters we want to start building. And I'm thinking we grab some of these insulation things. Okay, so let's do that. Food-wise, can we upgrade the hunter's huts? Yes, we can. Now, with all these extra people coming in, I'm actually going to get some additional ones going here. And I'm going to need housing for them also, which is a huge bummer. Because things are tight. There's one. Two. Three. That's all I can afford. I've spent all the steel. Scouts have arrived with 35 workers. So now I need significantly more housing. Grumpy old man. Crowd dragged an old man from his house. They're going to force him to submit to the public penance. Repent, you witch, someone shouts. Maybe this will teach you to keep your foul mug shut. The man's known for a sharp tongue, but we have no reason to doubt his piety and loyalty. Discontent will rise or discontent will fall. He might get hurt. 
I trust my people. I don't. I don't trust them at all, actually. I wonder how viable it is for me at some point to, like, restructure a lot of this stuff. Field kitchens that the kids can work at. I have to pay 10 rations per day, unfortunately. Cookhouse storage limit reached. Oh, wow, damn. Okay, that's a that's an excellent problem to have. Let's build our resource depot stuff. Continue doing it out here, I guess. Field kitchens. Hope rises. Okay. Get to building, everyone. Time to rest. Remember those who were now, this is going to cut into our, our... I might have gone a little bit ham here. As I, I tend to do that, I'm kind of like, okay, I can build it. Let's build all of them. Hunter's Hangar there. This is a new one as well. All these upgrades, these are fine. That'll increase our food, I think, pretty significantly. Let's go um, raw food in this one and food rations in this one. And what is our automaton doing currently? It's working at the coal mine constantly, though. Okay. Okay, okay. I still need more houses. These factories, they do have decent building insulation. Same as the bunk houses. These are getting hit by the fighting arenas, thankfully. The houses of prayer, thankfully. The Faith Keepers are here. I got a couple extra spots here. And then if I dismantle some of these roads... I could build more here. I'm gonna need one more still. I don't have the I don't have the steel. All right, ruined warehouse, wood and raw food. Let's check it. Moderate effort. We could remove the crates containing supplies from under the snow. We'll put them to good use in our city. Yes, go. Excellent. Now check the damaged snow cat. And you back here, you have to head out again. So we're gonna send you to the frozen pond, but we'll go through the via the research station. Actually, hold on, cancel that. Okay, you go here, and then we'll go there. Okay. So, yeah, my sicknesses are becoming a bit of a problem, but I just, I have so many people, we have 453 people right now. So I need to get into, I need to get into upgrading, hopefully, my, um medical posts and I do hope that I can upgrade them and use those existing positions that would be very very nice if I could run it like that we're gonna see a drop here and then we're gonna see a drop again so we're gonna go down to that minus 70 again on day 32 it looks like storage limits being reached there okay Also, getting into factories for more automatons could be really nice. The wall drill. Let's put the workers there. Give them the heat. Give them the heat there, too. Actually, I just realized we don't have a steam hub out there. Temperature falls. Okay, so we're going down to minus 60. 
The medical posts, these are all turned off. I think instead of overheating or going to level two, I'm going to see just about turning these all on. This is probably the fastest way I can do it without making sure that making sure I don't miss too many of them. Whoops. Okay. And then we have the coal thumper. Storage limit reached. Fine. Bunkhouse is freaking freezing there. So it's not getting hit by that. And it's not getting hit by that. Fine. We're out of food rations here. To operate that. Hmm. Okay. I'll place this here. Doesn't really make a big difference right now. But I do need to hit that one bunkhouse. I still have homeless. Where's my steel? Okay, it's coming in, but I spent all that huge influx that I had. These places are just kind of up and down constantly. If I look here at our food situation, is there a way I can see that? This is just coal. Is there any way to see food? No, this is all just coal. Okay. So we have a surplus of about 500 and some per day on the coal. Oh, wait, I just saw. I just saw over here. Look at this. Boom. Food processing. So raw food, we have a net gain of 364. That is not a lot in our food consumption differential here. So I need to up my game for sure. Now, what's the best way to do it? Because I've got access to the hunter's hangar, 26 raw food per day. It's the same as this, but this requires cores. But the hunter's hangar requires a lot of workers, which I don't actually hate right now because I have so many. Right? I can also just place those real deep and not be too fussed either. But I should probably get that under control. I'm just going to need some more steel. The second wave. God damn. Another huge group of refugees has arrived. They're in worse condition. They all talk about a huge storm coming in. Everyone's welcome. Discontent rises. 20 people enter the healthy ones. 25 gravely ill is a problem. And this one I'm going to say only the healthy ones. Our hope is maxed. I'm going to I'm going to, you know, tailor expectations a little bit here. I just don't want to get so overwhelmed. Now, I know people are going to be like, well, more people is more better because they can do more things. But it's like, I kind of don't think so. There's a, It puts you under immediate stress of having to provide all these resources that you don't have. And it's, I don't know. I don't know. You, I don't know. You might be right. Maybe you're, maybe you're right. I don't know. But we'll go Supply Depot here now. Some of this is kind of by by feel, you know? Guess we got to heat that. And my other buildings are now going to go where? Over in this area? I'm not super pumped about it. This is a fighting arena, yeah. That'll be enough for the 19 homeless. Okay, so I said we were going to go into some of the insulation stuff. So let's get the cookhouse one. I need 10 more steel. It warms the soul. Appreciate the field kitchens. Man, it's nice. These guys are like, they appreciate some of the stuff that we're doing. That's really cool. cookhouse insulation there.
Steam Steelworks. We've upgraded these ones, right? Yeah. So that's cool. That's cool, but... That's our limit. I can literally not create any more. Right? The other option is to not go and get coal from those uh, expeditions. Or not go and get food and switch that to steel at some point. Another hunter's hangar there. So now if we look at this... So we're actually behind, but this stuff might not have kicked in yet. And you can see, like, efficiency-wise, these things are not that great. Bunch of people were in treatment there. <sighs> Freezing homes. Let's heat some homes. I mean, I'm just... I'm not going to be able to. I, I, I think this is a losing battle there. Disperse the crowds, or I won't address. If we disperse, it doesn't seem like there's a downside. Okay. We have homes, guys. We've got homes. After the insulation, I'm thinking infirmary. Okay. I'm thinking we go infirmaries. We have a bunch of steam cores. But then I'm going to go into mechanical calculators. And I'm also going to start building, or, or uh, uh, start, sorry, yeah, okay, change of heart. We're going to go infirmaries, then we're going to go factory, then we're going to go mechanical calculators and see how that feels. Our coal surplus is really nice to see, do not get me wrong. And I almost think I'm going to place another resource depot back here. Book of Laws. Let's see. Purpose. House of Healing. Let's actually go Protector of the Faith here. So the captain will assume the title of Protector of the Truth. Sorry. Uh, he will be the one who can tell us what is right and what is wrong and guide our faith. This goes against a lot of things I believe, but uh, whatever. We'll knock on every door to spread the word of our captain and make sure it's obeyed. Discontent will fall. Now, we ha also have these things, right? Hope will rise, discontent will fall, hope will rise. I think let's hit the evening prayers for the discontent. But anything that's boosting hope, we don't need to do. So we'll do captain's words, discontent will fall. And we'll do ceremonial service. No, you know what, let's just save some, because who knows, maybe something happens, right? And then we really need emergency discontent drops. We're going to set this to be coal. Alright, Tesla's grave. So that was just to get out there. Now we'll go to the frozen pond. Looks like we're going to have another group of incoming refugees to deal with as well. Just something to keep in mind. This place pretty rough to work at. Same thing there. I am I am worried long term about how I'm gonna heat these when because like look we're going down to minus eighty up here. Like that's a concern, man. That's that's it's a concern for sure. But we've we've done a lot of uh, insulation upgrades. I feel like I feel like that's good. We've got a plan for some of the other stuff. 520 rations, 534. More coming in in a bit, but now we're converting to food so we can pay those field kitchens and stuff. Here's the third wave. Whoa. 50 of them are gravely ill. I'm going to take 10. Sorry, man. That's what I'm doing. 
What looms ahead? We can now clearly see what the refugees were running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. The storm and city readiness. Okay, whoa. This is the beginning of the end. The storm's coming. When it reaches the city, there will be nothing more you can do but wait it out. The storm moves towards the city, destroying and killing everything in its way, including any outpost teams and scouts caught on Frostland. It will bring extreme cold, which will render some facilities inoperative. The city has to be well prepared. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, survive. Stereoscopic lenses technology has been researched. The time until this, the end of the storm will be shown in this panel. Beacon stereoscopic lenses? Man, does that tell me that I'm just like way freaking behind or what? Also, we have all these little spots now, but I've gone out so deep with the others. Interesting. Research stereoscopic lens. Oh my god, this is stressful. Alright. Well, I am trying to stockpile coal. I'm trying my best to do that. I just don't know if it's going to be effective enough. Because, ultimately... I do have this. I should get that going. I, I have a feeling that wood is not going to be the problem, but there was something. There was a way to convert wood to coal, and that actually could be something that helps us in that situation. A new landmark. Okay, probably... Oh, nothing. All right. So you're already going where? You're going there. And you, I guess, will send back here now. Uh, but let's take a path you already know. Cookhouse insulation's done. Put workers in there now. We'll heat that. Okay, this place is now done. Okay. Fine. So we're going to drop down to 70 here. And then we have a few days. This will go back up. Technology-wise, we said what we were going to do. Can I still stick to that now? Honestly, who knows? I'm going to go infirmary. We had all the insulation stuff upgraded. So, like, this hothouse is sweating. Let's conserve as much of this as we can. Okay. Cookhouse is good. This gathering post is... Oh yeah, that's not even on, so that's fine. Those are all fine. This workshop is cold, because it doesn't have the, a beacon or a... What are these called again? Steam hubs? Hitting it? And then, where's all my infirmaries? So these are... on overkill. I'm okay with low risk. I'm gonna have to turn these on tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That looks fine. But I'm just trying to stretch things. I'm trying to stretch the, um... The coal as much as we possibly can here. This place should help. Work is over for today. Supply depot, explore that please. Yes, nice find, nice find. Okay, so you were, will also come there. Get back fast. And then by the time you get there, I might just send you home because you have a bunch of stuff. We'll see. 
I have some people homeless. That's right. I do. Uh, this little area could be cleaned up. Or I can just do this. They don't need to build any streets. It's gonna get real chilly in here real fast. Is there anything that I can do? Like, look, I mean, I could build more coal thumpers. I could do it. That's going to be my... That and food are going to be my big limiting factors, right? So why don't I do that? These are going to destroy some of the trees. I'm not too fussed, but we could just do this, I guess. These sicknesses, man. Uh, not engineers. Let's go workers. Okay. We won't survive this. Yeah, that's what we want to hear, Margaret. Thanks. Thanks, Margaret. All right, I got to go steam two here now. Let's let that ramp up. Okay, and then all of these now need to have the heaters back on. Okay, these places need it as well. That's fine. I'm going to run these on extended hours, get them used to it. That seems decent, right? Like, once they're over their initial little, uh, like, oh my god, you're making me do overtime. They seem to just kind of, like, you can just reduce discontent in other ways. And that doesn't seem to be a long-term, I don't know, maybe it slowly is building, but it, I don't know. It seems fine. Seems okay. Uh, let's get the coal thumper on extra hours there. This is the automaton, so let's do this one as well. Steel's all doing that. Sawmill I'm going to do. Sawmill. Coal mine, same thing. Yes, discontent is up. Yes, that's true. Coal thumper. Turn that on. Okay. So yeah, discontent went up. But we have some of these ways to try to reduce it. Where's my where's my churches here? The temple. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now I need to get into that factory also. I wonder if this is the time for me to build another workshop. I don't love my locations, but... Let's get that going. Because I have engineers, so might as well put them to use and we can knock through some of this research a little bit faster. Go here. Okay. We'll heat these as well. Now how is our consumption looking? 
Not great. We are definitely overdoing it. But I don't have a way to improve that other than turning off power. We've hit too many rations, as unfortunately. Okay, so now, please let me this be an upgrade. It isn't. It is not an upgrade. Okay. Ten beds. Base heating level two. New research. We're gonna go... I think I said factory. But I'm concerned that I'm that's not even gonna get me enough time to do things. Heater efficiencies would be cool. Like I don't know how many days are behind this, right? Because to get that, I need to go into what? Where was it? It was like a beacon lens or something. Research beacon stereoscopic lens. Like, I don't see that in here. This is beacon stuff. Oh, here. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Well, I have to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. And then we'll try to... We're going to just do extra... Um, hospitals. Big ones. Book of Laws, Purpose. What do we have? New Faith. With the induction of the New Faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies of the faith. Oh my god. Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. Hope will never be a problem again. Londoners will have to renounce their views. Public execution space will be built. Some Londoners will die, but it seems like we don't have any. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law, but it seems like we never have to deal with hope again. Is that so bad? Is that so bad? I don't think it is that bad. Adaptation here. Let's put child labor for all jobs. Hope drops a bit. I'm okay with that because we have some things in here. We can call a sermon. And we can do... Hope will rise. Discontent will fall. People may be injured. Discontent will fall in the procession. Let's do that. And let's also do the penances then. Ooh, it dropped and immediately went back up. Okay. So here we need to set um, raw food. And I do have a lot of coal coming in, but... not It's not going to be enough. I don't think I'm going to be able to store more than that. I will go double raw food here, maybe. Okay, so you made it to the crash site. I'll send you out deep here. That beacon should hit both. Engineers. The heat seems okay. There, but not here. Oh, that's not hitting. Oh, damn. Okay, well, that's kind of not great. Whatever, we'll run this little heater, I guess. Scum like you are a plague? Thanks. Thank you. More survivors. Oh, God. We'll bring them in, because we have somebody else that could... Oh, there's more. Alright, fine. 
Man, it's just the time is just flying. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. Uh, I would love to know what I should do from here, but that's part of figuring it out, and I'm not gonna just wait to hear what you guys think I should do, because I just need to handle it, okay? I just need to handle it. Temperatures are gonna go up in a couple of days. The problem with the temps being low is that uh, people are getting sick. Maybe I can turn off, like, Some of these ones at their workplaces and just keep the other stuff heated. Care house, all of those will keep on. Those are off. Public house, we could turn off. I think that's got heaters by it. Oh, look at that. So if I don't heat the... What is that changing right away? Maybe it has to be heated. That could be. That could be why. Okay. That narrows out our, our um, work a little bit, but people will get sicker. But we have more hospitals... And we can't... Okay, so that's good. It does... Our double capacity still works for this. Is that enough? Who knows? Let's take a break here, guys. When we come back, we're going to continue going. Um, this stereoscopic lens, when that pops, that's going to be eye-opening because... I have no freaking clue how far away are we. Are we 30 days out? Are we 5 days out? Like, I don't know. We'll have to see. Wish me luck. See you next time.